Lives of our saints. On the 2nd of September, our church celebrates the feast day of St. John the Faster. The following is some thoughts on his life and works. Born in Cappadocia, Asia Minor in the 6th century, the remarkably durable John was formally educated in Byzantium, where he was tutored by a renowned monk of Palestine, whose name was Hephsevios, and who instilled in John the longing to serve Jesus Christ. It was after he was ordained a priest that John decided that he could fulfill his purpose in the church with a self-imposed diet that allowed for the barest of food. In resisting the temptation to eat the delicacies, he became trained to resist any form of temptation, both physical and spiritual. He did this with no desire to impress anyone with his hardiness, which was asserted throughout his lifetime in spite of his meagre fare. An unseen hand nourished the dedicated John, who was not the gaunt figure people expected to see. His rise through the ranks of the clergy was a rapid one, and it was inevitable that he would be made ecumenical patriarch, serving as leader of Eastern Christianity for 13 years. At church and state functions, where banquets offered all manner of foods, the patriarch never went beyond the simple necessities of life, which seemed to afford him greater pleasure than the offerings consumed by the heartiest of eaters. When he, was re- when he was referred to as the faster, it was with reverence because his miraculous state of health was attained through prayer and meditation. This combination seems to have given him a proximity to God, which was manifested not only in the miracle of his well-being, but in miracles attributed solely to him through the power of the divine. It was not miracles but John's hard work that raised the patriarchate to an exalted level, one that is outstanding in a long history of exalted patriarchs. He took personal command of all the projects set forth to improve the lot of the Christians through the aid for the poor, the establishment of hospitals, orphanages and churches. A most holy man, John was quite human and combined his human nature with the mystical one on an occasion when he was provoked to anger by an action of the state. A day of festivity was set by the authorities in a state celebration, but it happened to fall on the day of Pentecost. When a call for a delay of the festivity was issued by an outraged patriarch, it was ignored by those whose interests lay outside of respect for the holy day. This so distressed John that he retired to a chapel and prayed for rain so earnestly that he was answered with a deluge that washed out the entire event. Conversely, he prayed for the safety of a ship on which he was a passenger and which was about to flounder on the rocks, the answer to which was bright sunshine and just enough wind to fill the ship's sails. St John the Faster died peacefully on the 3rd of September 595.